Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a new forensics case using Autopsy 4.0 up inside of CSI Linux. Autopsy is a digital forensics platform and works as a graphical interface to the Sleuth Kit. Law enforcement, military, and corporate examiners can use it to investigate what has happened on a computer. And autopsy can also be used to recover lost or deleted files and images. The lab requirements for this lab are one virtual install of CSI Linux and one downloaded forensics image file. And so let's begin the lab by going out to the internet and acquiring a digital image file that we can use to examine up inside of autopsy. Now to do this, I'm just going to go up here to the application launcher and I'm going to launch my web browser. Once my browser opens up inside of the address bar, I'm going to copy and paste the link from the lab, which is http colon forward slash forward slash dft dot sourceforge dot net forward slash. I'll hit enter. Now from the download page for the different digital images that we have access to, we're going to select number eight. So I'm going to click on number eight, the JPEG search test. On this next page, we're going to go to where it says download, and I'm going to download the zip file. I'm just going to click on that. On the next page, we're going to wait for the download to start. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my browser, and you'll see that we have the download completed. From here, I'm going to open the download and view it inside of its folder. Once I see that I have the archive in place, I'm just going to right click on it. From my context menu, I'm going to select Extract Here. We now have our downloaded image file. Now I'm going to open up the folder that contains the image file and show you that this is actually the image file we need. It has the extension of DD, and that is going to be our target source. You can go ahead and close out the file manager, and you can close out your browser. From your taskbar up inside of CSI Linux, go on over to the right till you find the image for autopsy. Go ahead and click it. That's going to open it up. Give it a second to initialize. On the welcome screen, you're going to select the option to create a new case. Go ahead and click that. You can now give your case a user-friendly name or a case number. I'm going to go ahead and type in 001. And that's going to be my case number. Now notice where the base directory is located. And this is where your case is going to be saved to. If you want to select a different location, you can just click on the Browse button and browse on over to where you want to save this case you're about to create. Go ahead and click Next. On this next screen, we can put in some pertinent information as it relates to our case. Again, I'm going to type in my case number. Here we have my name. Here's my telephone number, my email address. And in here, you can add any notes that pertain or may be pertinent to the case that if somebody opens up the case file, they can read it and they can get more information. For my notes, I've just typed in looking for deleted image files. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. Now we're creating the database. Now once your database has been configured, you can then add the data source. We're going to be adding the default, which is a disk image or virtual machine file. Now if I had an actual disk that was cloned from a client's machine, bit by bit image, I could check and use the local disk. But we don't have that, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the first option for a disk image or VM file. I'll click Next. On this next screen, you're going to browse on over to that target source. That's the image that we extracted, that we downloaded from the Internet. To do this, we're just going to click on the Browse button. We're going to pull down the option here for the Look In, and we're going to select the Root Folder. From the Root Folder, you're going to click on Home. Up inside of Home, you're going to open up CSI. From here, you're going to go to the Downloads directory. There you're going to find that folder that you just extracted. And inside of the folder, there's your image 
that we're going to be examining. Go ahead and double click it. That imports it into autopsy. Now the second thing you have to remember is that you have to be in the right time zone. So whatever time zone the image file was created in, you want to make sure that you have that selected as well. The rest of this you can leave as is and we're going to click next. On this next page we're going to configure our ingest modules. Now most of these modules you can leave as is but there are a couple that we need to uncheck. We're going to scroll on down until we come to Plasso. That's only used if we're using it on a Windows platform. The next thing we have to scroll on down and find is the Android Analyzer. Make sure you uncheck that. Once you have those two unchecked, you can go ahead and click Next. Now, before we click Next, let's talk about what these ingest modules are. They are nothing more than filters that are going to parse through your image file looking for interesting pieces of information. So as we select these ingest modules, they will pull in our image file and they will scan it for whatever it is that they need to look for. So let's go ahead and click Next. And on this next page, click Finish. Once the files have been analyzed, and ours analyzed very quickly because we have a very small data source. But let me qualify that just a little bit. If it had been a very large image file, let's say the disk drive of a suspect's computer, and it was terabytes in size, it would take hours for the ingest modules to go through it and parse all the information. Even though we have the image presented to us, the numbers are still likely to change as the ingest modules are still going through and finding data, depending on how large your data source is that you imported. So now we have our data source imported and we have ran it through the pipeline of ingest modules. What we want to look for is deleted files. So I can go over here and I can open up my deleted files and it shows me that I have five of them. I'm going to go ahead and expand all that just by double clicking here. And over here in the right window pane, we are given a list of all the deleted files that were recovered. And we can scroll down and we can look and we get some more information about these different images. Now, if you would like to see what these images are, just go ahead and click on the thumbnail tab up here. And all the images will be presented to you. If you would like to have greater detail, just click on the image you would like to look at. And down here at the bottom window pane, the image will be brought in and you can resize it. You can look at it. You can look at the file metadata. You can look at the hex information and you can examine the images in greater detail. If you would like to export the results, you can also do that. Go back over here to table and you can save your results to a CSV file, perhaps as something to add to your evidence file. Over here in the left window pane, what we're seeing is the information that was gathered from the ingest modules as they scan through our data source. So anything that it found, it's going to present to us in the results, such as the credit card information. And so I can click on any of these, and I am presented with the credit card information. For the purposes of this lab, we pulled in a small image file so that we could just be introduced to autopsy. But if this were a large image file, let's say the captured image of a suspect's hard drive, then the data that it would be presenting to us would be much greater. So it should go without saying that we can also use autopsy to recover deleted files and images. So if you have a instance where somebody has deleted an Excel spreadsheet, what you would want to do is create a digital image of that partition or that drive, import it into autopsy, and then look for it under the deleted files section of your data source. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about getting started with Autopsy up inside of CSI Linux. Got any questions, you got concerns, don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.